All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, with uh, I came here from the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Mm -hmm. All right, just wanted to uh, get into uh, a quick video through the Spirit. Lord willing, you be edified. All right, before you get started, you want to give all praises, honor, and glory to yeah, Yahweh, 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 you know, me and the brother was, you know, just speaking briefly uh, prior to the to the recording. You know, he's reading off, you know, certain stats with the coronavirus, which is basically taking the world, especially America, by storm. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's basically the leading, uh, in basically total cases, man. Yeah. And it's continuing to, you know, it's continuing to spread, man. Yeah. You know, people, uh, you know, it's a so-called so-called lockdown. You know, they're a little soft with it so to speak it's not really like all out uh, martial law uh, yet and people are basically just doing the, doing whatever the hell they want to do man and it's spreading you know but we know through, the, through the, what the scriptures say all right ultimately martial law is going to take place here in america man you know right. and you you uh you people out there you americans are going to be getting uh getting your ass beat yep. getting put to death yep. you know you're going to be getting uh, um, um you know sent to concentration camps you know, these are things that we that we warned and, 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 and told you about, man. You know, so you can start with that uh, Jeremiah. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, the 28th chapter and the 8th verse. Mm -hmm. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms mm -hmm. of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's right. So the prophets that came before us, all right, the prophets of the, of, of old, so to speak, which would be your Jeremiah's, your Isaiah's, your Malachi, Habakkuk, you know, so forth and so on. They prophesied against the empires that was the rulership during their time, man. You know, such as uh, such as Babylon, you right. know, the, the, the Middle Persian Empire, you know, the, uh, Greece, Rome. You know, each each empire, there was particular prophets that rose up, rose up, and told them of the things that that was going to happen to them, man. All right, we doing the same thing today. All right, in modern day Babylon. Mm -hmm. All right, we're telling you what, uh, uh, what did it say? It said war. Yeah, uh, and it says, mm -hmm. um, read that part again. Yeah. It says, both against many countries, against great kingdoms mm -hmm. of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, war, evil, and pestilence, man. <laughs> you know, and these things is, is on the horizon. <laughs> yeah. You know, the word evil means a bad, bad time. time. Yeah. You know, and bad times is, is coming to America. Really, the whole world, but mainly here in America, because this is the, the ultimate place of judgment. All right, so we're basically, as the scriptures say, we with the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the prophets always come back in their lot, you know, to do their job, man. All right, you, you hold yeah, something. I got a, a precept for you. Okay, go ahead. Um, concerning the plagues, you know, and all, and these things, you know, manifest themselves upon mm -hmm. the earth, the whole earth, and as the brother said, specifically America. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Second Ezra. Chapter 16, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again mm -hmm. until they come upon the earth. That's right. That's right. Yeah. See, and, and who's ultimately who's sending these plagues, man? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. The one you people out there refer to as a God. All right. Uh, uh, you know, so called uh, Jehovah. All right. Which is true name is Yahweh. Right. And son's name is Yahweh Shah, man. All right. They're the ones that's sending these plagues on the earth. And nobody's going to turn them back, man. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Verse 15, it says, The fire is kindled and shall not be put out mm -hmm. till it consume the foundation of the earth. That's right. And ultimately, how's that fire going to come? It'll come by the way of the thermonuclear missiles. Mm -hmm. Okay, also the fire uh, uh, being shot from the chariots, yeah. which you people uh, deem UFOs, man. Yeah. You know, those are the vehicles that, uh, who you refer to as Jesus, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Right. And his angels are going to make their return, man. All right? To uh, uh, basically terrorize you people, terrorize Esau. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 16. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth mm -hmm. shall not return again. That's right. And there's going to be a, a, it's, it's a, it's a host of plagues mm -hmm. laid out that's going to befall this place, man. But the ultimate uh, cherry on top is that thermonuclear destruction. That's why I mentioned the arrows, man. It made the analogy of a, the arrow being shot and not yeah. being able to return. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. When you read the scriptures, the arrow is a is a is a, is a um, metaphor for nuclear missiles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because when the prophets got these various visions and dreams and such, they seen basically they, they projected two thousand plus years into the future, and they saw America getting bombarded by nuclear bombs, man. Yeah. They described it in their in their terminology. Sometimes they'll say, "Oh, it looked like stars falling from from the sky, from heaven." It looked like arrows being shot. You know, it looked like uh, hail uh, falling out the sky. Yeah. They could only describe it in their terms, man. Yeah. You know, but the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, we, Lord, un unlocked our minds so we, to where we could understand these things. Yeah. You people look at this, you look at look at us like we, we got four heads, man. <laughs> you know? You, 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 you um, grab some? Yeah, some good yeah I was going to grab some. I'm going to read this real quick and okay. let you eat off of this. Yeah, this yeah, is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 19. Mm -hmm. Behold, Famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a men. Mm -hmm. See that? <laughs> Famine, <laughs> pestilence. I mean, again, this is a, a list of things, you know, like the most high is, uh, you know, he, he got so many different ways to, to, to judge you, man. And then it said, well, they sent forth for, for so amendment. Scourges and amendment. Amendment yeah. goes into basically on um, correction as well as uh, change, man. <laughs> All right? Why? Because people, you know, haven't took heed to the prophets, man. All right. You know, you haven't repented. You haven't speaking of you Israelites. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You haven't repented. You haven't turned back to the Lord. All right. So, so now, so now, so, so now the Most I got correct you. Right. But it's gonna come. It's gonna come in the way of death. <laughs> yeah. Missiles, famine. Okay, martial law, troops. All right. It's just all out pain and agony on you, man. You know. Matter of fact, uh, since you were second editor, go to. Um, I think it's I think it's in that same chapter. Uh, yeah, this chapter's a bad chapter. Yeah, that that whole uh, you know, and as as a brother say, man, the, uh, the prophecies are jumping off the page. Man. Yeah, you know, um, Second Ezra's. Uh, okay, actually, I think it might be fifteen. Um, yeah, uh, Second Ezra's fifteen and and uh, read the twenty six verse. This is the book of Second Ezra's chapter fifteen. Verse 26, mm -hmm. and it reads, For Yahweh Shimei Shai knoweth all of them that sin against him. See that? We, we know that sin is the transgressions of the laws, man. Which this world, you know, that's what they're all about, man. Yeah. You know, do as thy will. You know, you know, basically do according to your own will. Right. The Old Testament's done away with. We don't got to do that no more. You know, yeah. so the most high, it says what the Lord knows all of them that sinned against him, man. Go ahead. And it reads, it says, and therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. See that? Therefore, mm -hmm. he, he going to deliver you over to death and destruction, man. That's why we, you know, hey, how was I said, go forth uh, telling, um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, April, April, we are doing a video. Nah, you good. Hey, hey, uh, slack you, uh, Akim. Um, read that. Yeah, read, 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 read that. Yeah, um, Verse 26, it says, For Yahweh knoweth all them that sin against him, mm -hmm. and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. That's right. So that's, that's the, uh, um, the, the, the aftermath of you not repenting right. Uh, right, and following the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You're going to deliver you over to what? Death and destruction. Okay, and this 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 whole coronavirus thing, it's only it's only the it's only the beginning, and mm -hmm. we always keep saying that people are already bugging out, losing your minds, yeah, you know, going crazy, <laughs> you know, just because your ass can't go outside for for you know, yeah, it ain't even get hot yet, man. Right. You wait till really the Lord start op start opening up these these floodgates on on you people, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and best believe, all right. That the um men of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, the Lord gonna be um with them, okay. The Lord gonna protect them. He gonna yeah. guide them. And, you know, he gonna shield them away from you know the plagues that uh he got sent. He got already uh, a preset for you people, man. All right, starting with our own people, right? You Israelites, okay. You yeah, I got I got a preset because the brother just said this is just the beginning. Yeah. All right, you you people ain't even you know experienced the famine yet. That's right. You haven't experienced, you know, this, you know, the great tribulation of Jacob's trouble in his full essence, you know. So this is um, Matthew chapter twenty-four. Um, 
I'll start at verse, uh, verse 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences mm -hmm. and earthquakes in diverse places. Yep. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Yep, yep, yep. Man, yep man. You know, like the brother said, man. All right, what's taking place right now? You know, we rejoice. This is beautiful. Yeah. All right, because we see our salvation draw up now. But at the same time, we understand the, the mission, the battle is not won. Why? Because these are the beginning of sorrows. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have to under, we have to undergo the full chastisement of Jacob's trouble mm -hmm. right, through the spirit. Of course, Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect. That's but right. we have to undergo it, man. Mm -hmm. right? I, I was watching the book of Eli last night, man. All right? It's not about you. It's about fulfilling the mission, man. Mm -hmm. All right? uh, he underwent a lot of tribulation, a lot of trouble. But ultimately... He had faith in Yahweh Shemiah you know, that the Lord was going to deliver him to um, fulfill his mission. Mm -hmm. and, and, and us fulfilling our mission is receiving the kingdom, man. That's right. All right. It's receiving the kingdom of Yahweh Shemiah everlasting peace. Mm -hmm. I had um, another precept for you, oh, brother. Again, bro. Okay. Yeah, um, this was going back to when you were saying, you know, basically, because certain people can't understand, you know, they can't get, you know, what we, uh, the words that we say, what mm -hmm. we speak. You know, and, and they're, they're hard headed and stiff it. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is the, uh, the reason why. This is um, Yahweh Shah. This is um, the book of St. John, chapter 8, um, verse verse 23. Mm -hmm. It says, and he said, Ooh, I started verse um, 22. It says, Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself because he saith, Whether I go, ye cannot come? Because the Lord spoke in parables. Mm -hmm. All right? And the Lord spoke plainly, and they still couldn't receive him. Right. But this is verse 23. It says, And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, and I am from above. Mm -hmm. Ye are of this world, and I am not of this world. Mm -hmm. See? So the reason why you can't receive these things is because you've been blinded by your own illusion, which is that pride, man. Mm -hmm. You've been suffocated by, by pride and vanity, man. That's right. Therefore, you can't receive the spiritual gifts. All right. You can't receive the, those measures that the Holy Spirit offers, man. That's right. All right. That's, That's right. all I had on that. Yep. Okay. Kind of, yeah. And it, 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 this truth, you know, is only given to um, particular souls to understand, man. Mm -hmm. You know, let me read, um, what's that, Matthew's, the, uh, what's that, Matthew's the 13th chapter? Okay. I think it's 13 to 9. All right. All right, yeah, this is where it's only is only meant for certain uh, uh, <clears throat> individuals to get, man. We go to show you that no, the Most High don't love everybody. He don't deal with everybody. Right. If that was the case, then everybody would understand the truth. Why yeah. is the Lord put a put a spiritual block on some of you people's minds, man? You know, because he didn't he didn't choose you. All right. Yeah. You and also, if I, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. because I was, you know, I was going over the Book of Genesis, mm -hmm. um, and the Lord he killed. Literally, he almost exterminated his creation, mm -hmm. you know, because of the wickedness of man, because yep. man is nothing but flesh. So he wasn't going to strive for flesh. Exactly. So he dealt with everybody on the earth except Noah, his sons and their wives. So this is the same God that we're dealing with. The Lord exactly. doesn't change, man. Mm -hmm. He said he's not going to destroy it by water anymore. You know, mm -hmm. that, that's his word. But that's at right. the same time, he's a guy of wrath and destruction when he when he reaches that point and you fulfill that measure. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. So he's not he's nothing that we should be playing with, man. That's Yahweh right. Shim Yahsha is a very serious entity. That's right. All right. That's why um you read the book of what's that? You read the book of Jonah, mm -hmm. you read that story when basically uh you know when he got he was on the ship and the most high brought the storm and it's basically going around trying to see who who was who? And he said, "Well, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a, basically, I'm a Hebrew. Yeah. I served God, you know, the God of the Israelites, roughly paraphrasing. And the the crew members was bugging out, man. Yeah. They was like, oh, oh hell, oh, hell, nah, right. bro. <laughs> hey, bro, you gotta go. <laughs> you know, he said, toss me over, toss me on overboard into the into the sea, man. You know, because why? The Most High, his name, he, like brothers going into, he had a really heavy reputation, man. Yeah. The other nations, they they knew that." Yeah. You know, based upon the uh, judgment that he brought, like you said, he brought brought the flood, he brought the plagues on Egypt. Right. You know, destroy certain other nations and their armies. You know, so like you said, Most High ain't nothing to be played with, man. Right. You know. You right. Know? Absolutely. This is the book of Matthew's, the thirteenth chapter and the ninth verse. Mm -hmm. Who hath ears to hear? Let him hear. Yep. That's right. Go ahead. Verse ten. And the disciples came and said unto him. Mm -hmm. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Mm -hmm. Verse 11. He mm -hmm. 
He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. See that? See, it's given unto you, which to you represents the elect. Because he was speaking to the disciples. <clears throat> All right? The disciples represent the elect. 144,000 and the one third. Yeah? He said unto you is given to know the, the mysteries of, the, of the, kings, the kingdom of heaven. But to them, who, and who's to them? Them is the other, uh, hey, you, you, uh, you two third Israelites, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it wasn't given to you to, to know the mysteries, man. It's right. not given. So that's why, like the brother brought out, the law is basically talking over your head, man. Yeah. Talking in riddles and parables and using analogies, you know. And then, then when he broke it down, you, you, you still ain't get it, man. Right. You know. Still didn't get it. He <laughs> still, broke it yeah. all the way down. They still didn't get it. That's right. That's right. You know. Yeah. So this word, that's why we don't we don't waste waste our time, you know, trying to make you get it. You know, be sitting put, sitting here pulling our hair out. Nah, man. Scripture say if man, if man's ignorant, let him be ignorant still, man. Right. You know. So hey, it, it is what it is, man. The Most High is very is very selective on who we get his word to, man. Absolutely. You know. Did you, did you have some? I continue. Okay. Um, verse twelve. It says, "For whosoever have to him shall be given, mm -hmm. and he shall have more abundance. Mm -hmm. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away." Even that he have, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and so yeah, if yeah. you if you have that portion of Yahweh by Shemiah if you have humility, because that's the portion of Yahweh by Shemiah mm -hmm. humility, love, or a contrite spirit, mm -hmm. then what he's going you're going to you're going to bound, you're going to increase, you're going to grow, you're going to okay. sprout, mm -hmm. all right. But if you if you don't if you don't have meaning if you don't have humility, love, charity, these rudimental um, components that make up. The um, make up what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has instilled and in a man of the Lord that's created in his image, then you will be whatever you have, whatever you have, meaning whatever you physically have, your life, you know, any gain that you have is going to be taken away. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to be taken away. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I had something real quick just okay. to go with that. Okay, okay. This is um, Romans 11 and uh, 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election mm -hmm. have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see, so it go it go right with that, man. The mm -hmm. election have obtained have obtained it, which the it is what this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right. All right. These these mysteries, and it said what the rest was blinded, man. You know, mm -hmm. so the, so the most I could, could could spiritually blind you. Oh man. You know, and and others he could spiritually spiritually enlighten them. You know, he could turn on a switch. That's what he did to us. Yeah. Okay. When we, when we, uh, you know, whether we walked past the camp or we clicked on the video, you know, that was the most hot turn on our switch. <laughs> With you other people out there, it's like a, you know, it's like a, it's like a disconnect, man. Yeah. You know, it shows you that it's spiritual, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And you, you had some more than that. Uh, nah, but you go ahead. Okay, you, I had a precept for you. you okay, go ahead, go ahead, bro. This is um the book of Jeremiah, the thirteenth. Excuse me. This is the book of Jeremiah, the thirteenth chapter and the sixteenth mm -hmm. verse. It says, give glory to Yahweh by Shimei Shah, your power before he caused darkness mm -hmm. and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while you look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, we, how do you give glory to Yahweh by Shimei Shah? All right, by being charitable with brothers, man. All right, mm -hmm. by having a sincere love and a sincere attitude toward this ministry okay all right worship him fasting praying you know That's right. doing you know exercising the, the labors the fruit of uh of um of of somebody who who is walking in his footsteps mm -hmm. of Yahweh Shah footsteps That's right okay and he, and it's, it's it's necessary that we do these things why because if you don't the lord can he can turn your can out just like that mm -hmm. and and I'm talking about still living, yet not having this truth. You might as well be dead. Yep. You know? So that's why it says, before he caused darkness, and before your feet stumble upon... Matter of fact, could you grab um, John 10 and 21, Bible Shah? Oh, yeah, John 10. Come Con, on. Oh, excuse me, not John. Um, Job 10 and 21. Okay. Bible Shah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Con. valley, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, darkness... And before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains, all right? And we know mountains represent strongholds, which is de dealing with these philosophies of this world, man. 
All right, and and who are the um who are the um the housekeepers of these these philosophies? These other nations, man. All right, it says um and why you look for light and why you search for light. Oh, I'm searching to be a more. You know, I, I, I you know I'm searching for understanding. And I become a more. I'm searching for understanding. And I become a, a Egyptologist mm -hmm. or, I, or I become Christian or oh I'm just a nigga in the world that think I know what I'm talking about, but really I have no idea what's going on. Right. You know, it says. And while you look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. Mm -hmm. You know? You, you had that, brother? Yeah, I got, I got yeah, it straight in. Yeah. Kind. It's uh, Job chapter 10, verse uh, 21. Mm -hmm. It says, Before I go, whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness. The land of darkness, okay. In the shadow of death. Correct. Uh, verse 22, a land of darkness as darkness itself mm. and of the shadow of death without any order without, without any order mm -hmm. because we know that breath of life you know uh, when, when the Lord made um, or when Allah made um, Adam or uh, a man in his image mm -hmm. it, it, um, that was him giving him long order that's right all right and when he breathed that breath of life that was that wisdom those commandments all right so it says a place with no order yep it says uh uh, and of the shadow of death without any order and where the light is as darkness. Where the light is as darkness. So we have the light, mm -hmm. but people look at us like, oh, what the fuck are these niggas talking about? People don't yeah. understand us because they can't see what we're talking about. They, right. can't, they can't perceive the ministry and they can't perceive the, the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemiah That's right. You know? Yep. Yeah. You got something you want me to grab? Uh, uh, yeah, you guys should go to... Um, uh, First Thess was it First Thessalonians uh, five and uh, five and five. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse five, yeah. and it reads Go right where your brother's going into um, you know, basically the light and darkness, man. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse five. Ye all are the children of light. Yeah, and who is he referring to? He's yeah. speaking, speaking to the elect. Yeah. And why is the elect of the light? Because uh, they have this truth. Mm. All right, Lord willing, we, we are a counter of that number. Yeah, Lord willing. You know, the hopeful elect, man. You know, they have that truth. Okay, go ahead. And the children of the day, mm -hmm. we are not of the night nor of darkness. That's right, which is what the, these people out here is engulfed in, man. You know, darkness, debauchery, folly, wickedness. Yeah. You know, they taking like fellas going to the taking like uh, liking to these other religions and philosophies. Right. You know, I'm speaking about our people, man. Right. The so called yeah. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Absolutely. You know, you absolutely. You basically, you basically <laughs> cross. Like they yeah. say, you crossed over to the dark side, so to speak. You know, go ahead. Con, and it reads verse six. It says, "Therefore, let us not sleep as do others." But let us watch and be sober. That's right. And that, that goes, that, actually, I ain't, wasn't even planning that, but it brings it right back home to the topic of prophecy, man. Yeah. Let us, let us watch and be, and be sober, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Sober, going to being, having a clear, having a clear mind, you know, having a, having a, a clear understanding of, you know, as brother said, our, our mission and our, our goals. Right. You know, and then, and then ultimately, what are we watching? Watching the prophecies, man. All right, that's why we, we go into the articles and, and go into the current events, and we constantly harp on these things because the scripture tells us to do that, man. All right, go ahead. Um, come verse seven. It says, "For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night." That's right. And ultimately, what are the people drunk on? Drunk on philosophy. Quick one. Uh, yep, you got it. Real quick to back you up. Yep. This is um Isaiah chapter twenty nine verse nine. Uh, mm -hmm. Stay yourselves and wonder, cry, um, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. Mm -hmm. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Yep, uh, yeah, that's 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 the that's the perfect precept yep. for that man. You know, the drunken off or uh, philosophy, right. which which wine is is a metaphor for philosophy, doctrines, these different religions. You know, hey, you, you stumbling, man. Stumbling. You know, you, you're not you're not stable. You know, you don't have a you don't have a clear vision of what the hell's going on. Right. You know, you just you just lost in the sauce, man. You know, but there's particular <laughs> individuals set aside, 
all right, to have that's clear minded, man, that's sober, man. Mm. That's not that's not uh uh, uh you know uh, uh in, intoxicated with the filth of this world, man. Right. You know. You go Absolutely. Ahead. This is um. Verse 8, it says, But let us who are of the day mm -hmm. be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith mm -hmm. and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. That's right. You mm -hmm. see, so at, being as what the truth is like uh, like going to battle, man. Yeah. You got to be properly prepared, you know, prior to the fight, man. You got to have your helmet, your sword. Was that links with um? What's that um? Ephesians the sixth chapter. Sixth chapter the twenty. You know, yeah. yeah. yeah you want to you want to be fully fully protected, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you, when you have when you have when you uh, uh um uh gird, gird yourself so to speak with these with these things, it's gonna bring you salvation, man. You know, you're not gonna be counted with those that's uh, left in the, in the darkness, man. Right. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of that scripture would say um. Let's say, uh, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding. Saying should remain in the congregation. Yeah, the congregation dead. Uh, dead, man. Yeah. You know, so the people out here, like they got that show, The Walking Dead. You know, the <laughs> TV show that yeah. that was symbolic, man. That's yeah. that's these people, man. You know, the Walking Dead because they don't have this truth. You know. That's, but, also, that's why you know scriptures tell you, um, an evil communication spoiled of what good manners. Yeah, I yeah, 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 pa yeah. Paraphrase. Mm -hmm. So what? The brother made the analogy for the Walking Dead. If you having communication with the, the niggas in the walking dead, they're going to fucking bite you and yeah. you're going to become one of them. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. That's why we're supposed to abstain and be, the script says, be separate. Exactly. Be holy. Holy meaning set apart. Mm -hmm. All right? So we're not supposed to be dealing with the, the philosophies of these other nations or even the philosophy, the philosophy of this world or even the philosophies that the masses are people maintain. Right. Because th those philosophies are not philosophies of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. You want me to continue on this? Uh, what is it a little? Yeah, I think uh, it's probably another verse. Oh, uh, yeah, verse, verse 9 says, okay. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shemashiach, mm -hmm. yeah. who, who yeah. died yeah. for us, mm -hmm. that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. That's right. You see, in Yahweh Shemashiach, he died for the uh, nation of Israel, first and foremost, the elect. Because right. eventually all, all Israels are going to be saved. Save, yeah. You know, but. Uh, you know, the majority gotta gotta die first, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, the Lord gonna preserve the remnant. You know, and that's how the uh, two, two thirds are gonna be saved. They're gonna come back through the, through the loins of the uh, the elect. You know. Kinda. So this so this this so this this thing is serious, man. Yeah, it's very. And everything serious. that you see happening, you know, with the destruction, the 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 uh, uh, you know, the uproars of the people, so to speak. It's all it's all leading to this point, man. <laughs> it's nothing that you can do about it. All right. Right. Did you have some? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quick precept for you. Probably get a few more than we'll. All right. Kind of, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you didn't have nothing else, yeah, we can end on this. Okay. Kind of. Okay. Yeah. This kind is yeah. um Romans chapter 9, verse 27. Uh -huh. It says, Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel. Mm -hmm. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, mm -hmm. a remnant shall be saved. That's right. Yeah. He was quoting um, the book of Isaiah. Isaiah yeah. Chapter, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. So Israel is 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 massive, man. Each 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 tribe is like his, his own, um, yeah. own nation, nation yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So imagine everybody together, but what? Only a, a small remnant shall be saved, man. Mm -hmm. That's the hundred forty four thousand and one third, man. All right, which we're striving to be a part of. Yeah, Lord willing, you know, Lord willing, man. So you know, you know, we just want to do this um, lesson real quick. You know, um, you know, Lord willing, uh, you, you, view, you viewers out there was edified. All right, we're going to sign off. You know, give no praise, sign and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kodash, the Bonus of the Apostles, that was a great millstone. Shalom to the elect. All right, to the next uh, video. Shalom. Shalom.